Hello YouTube, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a piece of cinema to talk about regarding a cautionous tale of the mean, abusive streets of Hollywood in Los Angeles. Well, sort of. This is a Wings Hauser movie, both starring Wings Hauser and also being directed by Wings Hauser. And if you are familiar with Wings Hauser, then you kinda know what to expect in the 1991 PM Entertainment produced trailer The Art of Dying. Wing Souser stars in this film as Detective Jack, a hard-working, hard-drinking cop who believes in the old-fashioned work of investigations. That means not relying on technology, profiling and stuff like that. Instead, he always keeps his present in the street, beating up bad guys and trying to save as many naive, underage girls from being exploited by CD producers who promised them fame and fortunes, only to be tricked into the adult industry and at times, even worse, end up losing their lives. After a recent increase in extreme violent deaths in the city, Hauser, or I mean Jack, sets out to find and put an end to the evil acts of a demented snuff filmmaker named Roscoe, played lovely over the top by Gary Burns. Roscoe takes great joy in recreating scenes from famous films, only by altering the ending to them by including real murder. When Hauser, I mean Jack, comes closer to finding Roscoe, Roscoe sets his eye on Jack's on and off girlfriend Holly. Can Jack stop Roscoe in time, or will he have to witness Roscoe's final and most brutal set piece starting the love of his life? Do, do it. The premise for The Art of Dying is not a bad one, although hardly original. There are many other films out there, especially from the 80s, where we see how dangerous it can be for young, naive out-of-towners to pack up all of the stuff and head out to Hollywood to make it big. Some of them turn out to be very sleazy, while others might make an attempt of taking the awful scenario more seriously. The art of dying ends somewhere in the middle. As well the stuff that is going on is quite gruesome, the film manages to balance it out by having a sort of fun vibe going through it, most likely due to Wings Houser just being so fun to watch. What's so great about them, except his talent, is that he always gives it his all, and it is no different on this film, regardless if he is in a good mood or is going through some stuff. And what kind of Hauser do we get in this film, you might ask? Well, he's a good guy here with some personal problems, but he's not a drunken, self-destructive type of person that you often otherwise get. We do get one hilarious scene though, where he's sitting on the beach with a bottle of tequila and randomly lets his pet bunny have a sip. <laughs> Totally random, and I don't believe you see this little guy in any other scene. Another scene with Golden Hauser moments is when he's having some sensual moments shared with his love interest Holly, played by Kathleen Kinmont, who horror fans will remember from Halloween 4 and The Bride of Reanimator. Their love scene is happening in the kitchen, and uh, I don't even want to try to explain what is going on here. Just enjoy the visuals. In between all of the good Wings Hauser scenes, and there are many more as he absolutely takes over every scene he's in, we also get to spend some time with the weirdo villains. I'm not sure if the two bad guys, the snuff filmmaker and his sassy sidekick is supposed to be a couple or not. He sort of hints at it at times, but does not attempt to do anything else with it or even keep it tasteful. They are larger than life and colorful though, and definitively make up for fun bad guys for a low budget vigilante movie. Although the violent acts that these guys do go a bit further than your average action B movie in the shock department. Speaking of the violence, they don't keep it consistent on that part, as well the bad guys start out to recreate famous death scenes from movies such as Psycho, The Deer Hunter and Scarface, others are killed off without at least me recognizing what movie they are supposed to be referencing. Do we have a title yet? <laughs> the Art of Dying. Oh, brilliant. I know. When the film first starts, Wings, or Jack, has a partner. A quick line delivering black female that sadly was killed off right away. She seemed to be very fun and I wish they kept her around for much longer. If they had to kill her off, at least make it a bigger part of the story and let it be an emotional scene for Wings, or Jack. I don't know how to explain the tone of the film as it is all over the place and tries to mix in a lot of different vibes. There's humor, there's film noir stuff, there's pure exploitation, 
slasher film elements are present, romance, just whatever you could think of, this movie tries to include. Some of that might be explained by this being one of the four films that Wing Souser directed himself between 1990 and 1994, and the screenplay being written by Joseph Medhi, one of the co-owners of the fun production company PM Entertainment. If you are familiar with the movies, usually low budget action films from the last half of the 80s and the first half of the 90s, then you can see how the art of dying ended up being the way it is. The Art of Dying is a fun Wing Souser film, and I say that specifically because I don't think this will be enjoyable for anyone who is not a fan of Wing Souser, if people like that actually are out there. If you haven't become a loyal follower of all things Wing Souser yet, or don't understand its appeal, then I wouldn't say that this is the best film to start out with. Go see Y Squad or Gang Boys instead. The Art of Dying was a fun time for me, even if I would not call it a good movie. I am giving The Art of Dying the score of 3 out of 5. Has any of your viewers of mine seen The Art of Dying? What do you think of it and how does it rank for you on the Wing Souser meter? It is very likely that I will do more Wing Souser movies in the future, so feel free to recommend more to me. I do have a review of one of his other directorial efforts with Gang Boys, also starring the lovely Linda Blair, so make sure you check out that video as well. As always, I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch my videos here on YouTube, and I'll hope you come back for more reviews of low budget B movies here on Cinema Terror.